Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> My mom's here and we are going for an adventure day off to Montserrat. Let's put our living stereo stylus in this groove. <laughs> Apparently, the island of Montserrat in the West Indies is named after, after this monastery um, by Christopher Columbus in 1492. So, uh, yeah. And what are we looking to find here? Well, rumor has it that um, this is the place, the final resting place of the Holy Grail. Maybe we'll find something, I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. Most definitely not. So right behind me right there is the monastery of, uh, of Montserrat. And that's about the best angle you will get to see it. Because idiot fool forgot to uh, bring the cable for the for the drone. It's a beautiful view though. It's a really, really nice walk here. I think we're just walking down to the cross right now where we have a beautiful view of the monastery. But yeah, bummer we don't have the drone. Even though we couldn't fly the drone, we had a fantastic day on top of Mount Montserrat. The cliffs that surround the monastery have a beautiful and unique formation. Too many people. To avoid the masses, head over to the other side of the cliffs where the cross is located. The next morning our very good friends Ramona and David arrived to celebrate Rhea's birthday and to bring us up to speed on the upcoming Formula One race. But first things first. So we're rigging our fourth flag. Fourth. 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 Okay. Up we go. Just the usual madness we have when uh, the Coracle crew leaves the boat. <laughs> we are going to the Formula One uh, Grand Prix of Barcelona. Barcelona. Never been before. Yeah, me neither. You looking forward to some? I do, I do, I really do. <laughs> Faster than mine. <laughs> what are you driving? <laughs> Renault Twingo. idea what he's talking about all the time but it's not it's not that they just like drive around in circles you know <laughs> it was a little bit more peaceful um, in the monastery I have to say 
but it was really really cool to uh, experience that for one time in our lives pretty cool two times from one of said two times first and the last <laughs> Hallelujah! Until we were back on the boat, it got pretty late, and we thought, why not start Ria's birthday celebration with presents? We don't really have a lot of footage, and I'm sure you all know the reason why. The 40 year old Ron played a big role in that story. When I wake up in the morning, <laughs> drinking coffee on my balcony, trees are dancing. To the whistle of the wind Lord, I'm thankful for everything that didn't didn't do anything Ferrari didn't win yesterday it was uh, again Mercedes so uh, I'm gonna take her down you give me It's Ria's birthday today and we're going to the city and I can't get over how good she's looking. Just today. Every day. Getting Koru ready to leave tomorrow morning. Um, we're heading back down to St. Corals. Pick up Patrick over there, Westy, and uh, Chige is already like um, cleaning the deck. <laughs> He's taking his job very seriously, which is good. Still some work to do. We have uh, still the problem with the coolant hose, um, which is still leaking or just dripping a little bit. I would say we're gonna be ready tonight. Chill a little bit and then uh, head back south to St. Corals. Pick up Westy and head over to the Balearics, which I'm very excited for. Crew ready to leave? Ready. We are on the way. Going back to Tarragona and San Carlos de la Rapita for a quick stop before we head to Mallorca. Well, one of these rubber bands that hold the, the sail to the track to that sled here came loose. Well, it, it, it came loose, it ripped apart. Um, and I just see that. Right there, the one up there, same thing. It just happened, right? Just, just now. Fuck! That's not cool. So I guess we have to uh, visit the ch our favorite Chandler in St. Carl's Marina, who made a fortune of us already. <laughs> one down, one up to go. Down. So we have to uh, lower the sail a little bit more. It was kind of a bumpy ride. Good morning. So we are leaving um, this marina called, um, what is it, Club Nautico Cambrils, 
we made some 10 nautical miles more than expected yesterday and um, we are, it's early in the morning it's around 8 o'clock and we're ready to leave for some calls that are up it up but first we go to the fuel station to get some fuel it wasn't possible yesterday in Barcelona there was nobody around and um, we're a bit low on fuel so we're absolutely happy that we sailed all the way yesterday in high winds and high swell I must say but I think this day is going to be a bit more comfortable for everybody the vomit chorus <laughs> Look, the vomit chorus when swell is coming from about 120 degrees from behind you that's up how is the swell treating you it's not that bad it's a bit uncomfortable I'm having a little headache but but it's nice it's not it's not too windy here I have a very nice seat and I'm really glad we're going back to some calls it's fun to to go back to a place and where we've been already and, and show it to the crew show it to the crew yeah Monica doesn't have any problems with the seasickness or motion sickness or anything, nada whatsoever, so that is cool. And we did have a very calm and relaxed few hours of sailing before we entered the marina of San Carlos de la Rapita. What would be a sail on Cora without something breaking or at least, well, let's say a slime line tangled up in her starboard propeller? The very nice marinero was a little bit too quick with tensioning the lazy lines for us. We were still in gear to straighten out the boat when he pulled the line which eventually ended up in, well, you know where. So I had to take one for the team and dive in. marina waters I swam in everybody's pits <laughs> after a very long and hot shower I once again wandered up to the bus station to pick up our latest crew member for the crossing over to Mallorca so we picked or I picked up Westy hello Westy hello Fu. <laughs> found them even though I forgot my phone and everything but uh, we did it like back in the days you know no cell phones and nada are we ready Captain Fu? yes we are at least we've got some beer that's all we need for now so we're almost ready everybody is doing something uh, Moni is a uh, I cut the potato. <laughs> nice, she does cut the potato. Nice potato salad, very famous. We have a few eggs boiling. We have a little soup before we leave. And Ria is doing what? Dishes. <laughs> oh, no. What? That's what I do best. No, that's not true. <laughs> no. That's not true. <laughs> well, she does the dishes great, but that's not the best thing she does. And uh, what are you up to, Chige? Packing my together <laughs> and uh, cleaning or tidy up my bunk. So uh, sweetness. Who, who this is? Introduce who, yourself. Say who this is? Hello, I'm Westy. I'm a friend of Fu and Ria, and I'm here. I'm glad to be. Nice. Westy's going to join us uh, for the crossing over to Majorca which we will start in about two hours but before we go we're gonna get the boat ready as usual and um, also do some man overboard maneuvers while we're uh, in the bay out there good opportunity to bring everyone uh, on the same page and also um, it's it's great because West, Westy has a lot of uh, experience so um, he's showing us the ropes a little bit and uh, giving us tips and tricks on do's and don'ts which we have quite a lot, I have to say. <laughs> but
But um, yeah, we're glad that everyone's here. Spirits are high and uh, we're really looking forward to leave the mainland and uh, cross over to the Balearics. Join us next week when it gets real and we attempt our first overnight passage to cross over from the Ebro Delta to Port Soye, Mallorca. We make new friends along the way and get our first glimpse of what it's like to lose sight of land just to shout land ho when it reappears in front of your boat. Drop anchor in one of the most beautiful bays in all Mallorca and get our adventure hat on. Play in the water and fly the drone. Well, if you can call this flying. videos are made with love and are dedicated to everyone who is not yet ready to cut the lines and sail off into the sunset. To everyone who seeks adventures and dreams of pure freedom and endless summers. To all of you free spirits and wandering souls, see you out there. <laughs>